So here on the Avrona channel we like to dig deep into topics, especially the RTX 3000 series because I made uh, qu quite a few videos about it already. But it's the gift that keeps on giving because the elusive RTX 3090, which for a long time now we've thought could be a reality but we weren't quite sure, well now it's pretty much almost fully confirmed. From the leaked images of the PCB and the GPU, to many of the leaks on the specs of the card, it's looking to be an amazing graphics card for several reasons. One of the main important ones is that the RTX 3090 is supposed to have 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. Now, for the most part, the memory type of a card isn't too important, but the fact that it is GDDR6X is kind of important, because the, according to Micron, the difference in bandwidth is pretty huge, with GDDR6 running at around 12 gigabits per second, while GDDR6X will be running at around 19 to 21 gigabits per second. So not only will the memory be much faster, but it will also have 24 gigabytes of VRAM, which before was only reserved for the Titan RTX and also RTX Quadro cards. So as you can imagine, the price would be pretty bad, right? Well, actually no, because according to these leaks, the card's only supposed to cost $1,400 or $1,500 for the Founders Edition. Now, that is still a lot for a graphics card, but think about it. The 2080i, a generation old at this point with 11 gigabytes of VRAM, yes it is powerful, but it costs around what, $1200. But here you have a card with over double the amount of VRAM, way, way faster memory, and of course also higher clock speeds and a higher core count for overall improved performance, even in workloads that don't require that much VRAM, all for around, what, $200 to $300 more. If that is the case, that is absolutely insane, because before, for you know, professionals, prosumers, people who could benefit from 24 gigabytes of VRAM, they had to spring all the way for a Titan or even a Quadro. So to have the kind of itch scratch for just $1,400, is a dream come true for those kind of people. Now, there are some leaks from Micron that would suggest that the card only has 12 gigabytes of VRAM, but I just don't really believe that. 24 could be a bit much. I could see 16 gigabytes being a thing, but 12 just kind of seems too low because that's only one gigabyte more than a 20 Ti. And not only this is a next gen card, but it's also not an 80 Ti. Like 12 gigabytes of VRAM is the kind of natural progression I could see for the 38 Ti, but not the 3090. The 3090 has to have way more VRAM it, because it just has to. It's the new top tier flagship card. So I'm very curious to see what's going to come of all of this. The RTX 3090 looks like it's going to be an absolute beast if it is real. And if those prices are correct, then wow. And even if the price is off by a few hundred dollars, if you can get a 24 gigabyte of VRAM card for sub $2,000, for many prosumers, that's still quite a good win. Like I said, on the Avana channel, we love these cards, so we have plenty of other videos about them, so definitely check them all out as well. I have a whole playlist up in iCards. And hey, if you're an intellectual and love this channel, then of course you'd also love my Patreon, which is down in the description below. Because even $1 more goes a long way in helping me make way better videos and also videos on way more interesting topics. Down there, you also find my Discord if you want to talk to me or other intellectuals about this or whatever else really. And I guess that's really it, so I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, goodbye.